Good morning and welcome back to the mountain. Well today guys is Thanksgiving so I decided to do a little vlog for you guys today and to make sure that I told every single one of y'all happy 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 Thanksgiving and I hope that y'all are having an, an amazing amazing day with friends and family and I want you to reach out to somebody that you ain't talked to in a while that's kind of life's gotten in a busy kind of hurry and you just lost contact and you don't even remember why and reach out to them today and tell them that uh you're thinking about them and uh the holidays is a very lonely time for some people and uh check this out <laughs> what are you doing halo what are you doing are you the king of the logs king of the logs huh <sighs> it's been an absolutely amazing week uh i've been having a ton of computer problems guys that's why i have not been posting as frequently as i normally do on this channel and i've had dell actually come out three times in the last week putting different parts in my computer and it's caused a lot of problems for me guys so i appreciate y'all watching this vlog because i am unable to edit right now and also it's thanksgiving so i don't want to edit today but they did come out and put another hard drive in my computer last night. I have not had a chance to get all of my editing software and stuff done uh, to be able to start editing it again. But I did do some filming this week and there will be some videos coming out. One of the things that we did yesterday, there's ice on the ground and the cooler is sprayed out. The deer that I got on Come On Mountain, my first deer ever here has been processed last night and uh whew, gary came over we processed from about 1 32 o'clock to about eight o'clock last night it went a little bit slower gary has never processed a deer before and he has never uh actually uh harvested a deer before so he got one the other day and his will be ready to process in about five days and so he came over to help me and so I can teach him about the process and I'm going to help him as well process his deer. So it took a little bit longer. <laughs> Funny thing is, is uh, Gary worked on one hindquarter uh, the whole time and I processed the rest of the deer. He said, man, you're fast, you're fast. But I did video it. It's gonna be a pretty cool video. I also went on an adventure last weekend uh, on the four wheeler and uh, Went and checked out some new cool places around Come On Mountain here and just had an absolutely great day. Went over to the 41.36 uh, at the end of it on the four wheeler and uh, just really, really enjoyed the day. And then the following day, I took the truck up to Mount Magazine and I caught all the fall leaves and stuff before they all fell off the tree because, as you can see behind me, they are dropping like flies right now. So uh, I went ahead and took some time to go enjoy that before I have to wait all the way until next year to see all of that beauty again. Four wheeler is running amazing. I am so happy to have this tool here. I've had this four wheeler for a couple years. I got it from my nephew and my niece there in Georgia. And when I got it, it didn't run. And I've done a couple of things to it here and there. And I never did get it to quite run properly. It was still missing a little bit. So I finally took it to the shop and got it up and going. And it has been a game changer for here on the mountain. Uh, I went and uh, fed Mike and them's rabbits this morning. And uh, took the doggies out. As y'all know, they've been staying in the cabin. Uh, the first couple of days was a little rough. They figured out how to get out the back door, so I had to fix that problem. And they chewed up some of the insulation and stuff like that and made a huge mess. I talked about it on my Come On, Keeping It Real. Uh, if you have not subscribed to that channel yet, make sure that you go over there and subscribe because that is all about the day-to-day -day here on the mountain. We're going to walk out here and collect some cards out of the game cam. It's been a couple of couple of days since I've been able to hunt I've been so busy and uh, I'm gonna try to get out there some this weekend and do a little hunting now that I got my cooler empty and see if we can uh, harvest some more 
groceries here on the mountain. Uh, man, I was so excited to be able to break out all of my processing gear and stuff uh, last night. It took a little while getting everything sanitized and set back up. I haven't processed anything in like three years and everything's just been kind of stored in a plastic bin. So everything was dirty. So it took quite a bit of time to do all of that last night. And also going nice and slow and, and trying to teach Gary along the way. Um, it was just a good time though. A couple of brothers hanging out and just really, really enjoying uh, the process and the fruits of the labor of being able to process our own groceries here on Come On Mountain. Look how beautiful it is. Look at the mountain on the south side of Come On Mountain. And look at my food plot, guys. It is like a little garden oasis out in here. It is doing absolutely amazing. Uh, I did fill back up the feeder uh, the other day. Let's see. What kind of movement. That's a pretty big track right there. I have not seen a buck in this section right here yet. Only does. But they are definitely... Uh, Keeping it clean around here. Look at all those tracks. Yep, there ain't a piece of corn on the ground. That's a pretty big one right there too. Maybe the bucks are starting to come over here now, being that I haven't put anything over there in a little while. A couple of babies running around it looks like. All right, let me go ahead and grab this first card and we'll walk over to the other one and see what kind of movement has been over there. I will probably put some corn out on the other one today, being that I'm probably going to hunt in the morning. So, let's see, because now that I got a doe and actually got some uh, food harvested here on the mountain, now I would like to get one of those big boys to be able to harvest a lot of groceries here uh tim from rich life actually uh got him an eight point today uh he was a little late to the game uh, i was the first one in the fram to get a deer and then it was gary and then now tim's got one and i don't even think mike from three mississippi is even set up to hunt yet this year he's been real busy i think uh he's got a little bit of a late start and i called him a couple of days ago and I have not got a return call. Mike, how come I haven't got a return call? Come on now. Uh, I haven't done one of these uh, walking around vlogs on this channel in quite some time. In the comments, leave a comment and tell me what you think about it. And uh, maybe I'll do them here or there. Uh, sprinkle them in. I know for the most part you guys like to see me getting it and building and all of that other stuff and when i don't oh trust me i hear about it but uh you can't just build work and build and work and work all the time you got to have a little bit of a life and sometimes things happen um like computer issues being that i'm an online creator <laughs> computer issues is a big problem for me <laughs> when it happens and i've just spent a bunch of money to get a new computer to not have those problems but yet I'm still having them on a regular basis, even worse than my old computer that I was trying to replace. Grab this other one. So far, I'm liking these little mini Moultrie game cams. The only problem I got with them, if you put it on video, the battery life is no good at all. Yeah, there's definitely been a lot of stomping and going on around here. That's that big boy right there, guys. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. They are definitely stomping all around here. I believe that most of them are coming from over there. And I would like to go across the street there and set up over there for next year. Over there is originally where I wanted my hunting area, and it's going to be. But right there in that area right there, I've actually got scheduled with Drew's Lens come springtime. Uh, we're going to dig a pond there. 
And I've also been talking to my neighbor um, here lately, and he's been thinking about uh, getting rid of some of his land. It's not 100% yet. He's still uh, getting prices and talking with his wife and all of that. He actually owns from about over there where my property line is all the way across there to my property line and there is about 10 acres in that section right there that back straight up to the national forest that mountain that i just showed y'all behind me and uh when i moved out here i talked to him and let him know that if he ever wanted to get rid of any of his land because he owns a lot of land on the other side of me too and that pond that y'all seen on my videos at the very beginning of this journey and i've let him know i'd be interested in both of those but definitely interested in the 10 acres behind me and uh well he's thinking about it and uh so um that might be something coming here in the future and if i'm able to purchase that 10 acres and make it all work financially and all of that then that right there will end up being my new hunting area is that 10 acres that's pretty much going to be its primary purpose is for hunting especially being that it backs up to the national forest i have a funny feeling that there will be a lot of uh good activity going on there and it also gives me access to kind of explore the national forest behind me um and i heard there's some hidden waterfalls and stuff back there so yeah i'm definitely uh, looking forward to it and i don't think i've put that on this channel either I got this a couple weeks ago and this is also where I got my first deer right over there and like I said before this is the only place that I've actually seen bucks I've kept it very wooded over here that way the bucks got a little cover and feel a little bit more comfortable about coming out but this is a real nice blind um, really really good material and it's got these quiet slides right here instead of velcro so you can slide everything up and down and it's got plenty of space in here guys plenty of space i actually pulled the chair that i had in there out uh for gary yesterday for doing all of the processing and uh man i just love walking through the wood it's so peaceful absolutely amazing but this one ain't going to be a huge long one today, guys. Like I said, right now, I'm unable to edit. Um, so that's why y'all haven't gotten a video in about six days from me. We did do a live on Monday, which was absolutely amazing and awesome. And uh, we'll be doing it again on Monday, every Monday at 6 Central Time. But I just wanted to do a little Thanksgiving update for you guys. And let y'all know that everything is going good and uh i can't wait to edit this next video to show you guys the processing and uh i kept it very classy and it's not gross or anything it's just like you processing meat uh from the grocery store um i also going to put a disclaimer at the beginning for people that don't want to see that kind of stuff uh just to go ahead and let them know but it is a part of this lifestyle and uh there's going to be times where I am doing that kind of stuff. Oh, wow. What a beautiful morning, guys. It is so, so gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful Thanksgiving morning. So much to be thankful for. Uh, I'm looking forward to going to the 41.36 today. I'm deep frying a turkey and two turkey breasts, plus their uh cooking a turkey in the oven or smoking it and um also a ham and a whole lot of good groceries and my favorite part the reason why i'm cooking the two turkey breast deep frying them is my one of my favorite parts of thanksgiving is the sandwiches after thanksgiving Woo, so amazing so amazing so looking forward to that and then yeah it's time to get back to work uh Probably Saturday, I'm going to uh, start on that patio well shed. I got to get that done. That is a time-sensitive project that I need to get done. And uh, with all the computer issues and stuff, it kind of put it back a little bit because 
I've been having to meet with Dell and stuff uh, three times this week and it's really blown out my schedule here for editing and uh, producing content and videoing and all of that other stuff. But we're going to get it right uh, determined and uh, we're going to keep it going. But I hope everybody has an absolutely amazing, amazing Thanksgiving. And I am so grateful for every single one of y'all that support me on this journey and I just love y'all and oh wow look at this guys what is that that is a big old paw print right there let me show you it's almost as big as my hand something's been creeping And my yard goat, Coco, is out. She was actually in the pen this morning. And now she's already out again. At this point, she pretty much comes and goes as she pleases. Everybody else is staying in the pen like good animals. But old Coco is my, uh, my problem child. <laughs> so at this point, until I move the fence again, I've decided just to let her kind of come and go. And uh, eat around the yard. I'm probably not going to move the fence till the end of hunting season because the goat pen is actually right behind where my stand is or my blind is. So I don't really want to disturb the area. And uh, I'll probably do a, a, a video on these, what's actually on these cards here on my side channel. Come on, keeping it real. Like I said, if you have not subscribed to that, make sure you subscribe. We are almost at... Uh, 20,000 I think we're only about three away on that channel and I'm trying to get there by the end of the year So help me out help me out guys and also on this channel. We are almost at 40 We're about the same amount away about 3,000 subscribers away And we got about a month and a half to do it and I think we can do it So if you have not subscribed to come on homestead yet guys Do me a favor hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and like this video and uh, because we are about to get back at it on the tiny house and a whole lot of other stuff. Um, we was able to get Mike and the Drifting Dreamers set up with their shed to house uh, down there the last week. And uh, I was actually going to start a couple of projects here before his uh, accident. And I kind of shut down everything here on the mountain for a minute and uh, made sure that they got their shed delivery on time. But uh, now that that's done, they will be back uh, this weekend, Sunday, I believe, from their trip to Florida, visiting the family for Thanksgiving. And I've been dog sitting, as y'all know. So I'll have that off my plate. And then I got to get busy because I'm actually going to be going to South Carolina for Christmas with my family um, on the 23rd uh, for a couple of days, about three or four days. But love every single one of y'all. Happy, happy yard bird day, guys. And until we see each other again, come on. Ha, let's go on another adventure.